subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. I'll start by saying nothing justifies murder, but it's good to know why the one who was shot was. Here is an update of uh, the video I made yesterday about a Cameroonian sister who deleted two people in Atlanta, USA. This update is coming from a blogger by name Franklin Jume, and this is how it goes. Raisa, as mentioned in my last before, is an American citizen. She is an accountant by profession and a master's degree holder. Raisa worked for a company and was fired with her only crime exposing her boss fraudulent transactions. After being fired, she sued her boss and then started her own business. Worried about the consequences of the lawsuit, her former boss began to threaten her and her loved ones. His ex-boss didn't stop to this threat. He got close to the caretaker of the building Raisa was a tenant in. The corrupt tenant then agreed with the goalkeeper to allow a burglary into Raisa's apartment. The intention of the plot was to destroy all evidence of the lawsuit in his computer and to steal his backup of any documents that might involve his former boss. The break-in was smooth, executed, leaving no trace behind. As soon as Raisa found out she had been robbed, she alerted Atlanta police who sent an agent to the scene. Unfortunately, the police investigation was unable to establish that she was robbed as there is no evidence that neither her door nor her truck were broken into. It was after the failure of her repeated attempts to convince police she was robbed that Raisa took out her frustration on her former co-workers at her former workplace. Among the two men she deleted is Wesley Freeman, the 40-year-old man in the black suit, who was at the center of the fraud Raisa revealed. Here is a video of her and the police agent having a discussion. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Ready? First, it didn't have any force entry. It doesn't need to have a force All entry right. for burglary let me talk. by law. Let me talk. Yes, go ahead. All right. Just making that you, point. You, you spoke, let me speak. Yes. All right. So as far as the report says, it says there was no force entry. All right. All right. Um, no signs, second, no visible sign of force entry. You have the report. You read it, right? He's saying no visible sign of force entry. Now, what I'm, go ahead, please. Go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So you saying that it needs, right now it's not showing as burglary. And you're saying, and you, let me talk. No, I and thought it was saying, a question. Go ahead. It's not showing as burglary. Okay. And you're saying it needs to be changed as burglary. But if we don't see any forced entry, we cannot change it as burglary. Okay. You. As, only, I reported a listen, crime. Listen, I reported a crime. Okay, yes. Man, listen. Yes. All right. If you feel like it should be a burglary, and you have the information, the video, whatever you told me that you have that could convince this officer that this was a burglary, I don't see no problem in her changing it so they could investigate it. And, right. Okay. All right. Yes. There Go is ahead. no problem with that. Go ahead. That's the only thing I could tell you. Okay. And she was going to give you the number for burglary. Mm -hmm. They could read that report and talk to you about it. And okay. you could give them that information so, about the burglary okay. that they investigate. Okay. All right. All right. Now, hold on a second. That information report, I specifically told her that it was a crime. I'm a whistleblower. And I told her that information in my safe was taken out and when she, there was a flash drive that was dropped on the floor and she told me sarcastically well it's your flash drive i cannot say that there was a burglary because the flash drive the flash drive could have you know hey, fell off what's that report 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 Okay. All right. I, I got you. Okay. All right. Go ahead, babe. Why no, are you I, in I'm, my I'm, I'm peeping. But back I'm up peeping. a little bit. All right. Sorry. Thank you. And I know it's COVID with personal space. Okay. So I just wanted to take a close up. All right. 
So now you're telling me that the report is not updated and you're not going to update it. You're not going to no. investigate base, as a crime. I no, I'm, I'm saying, no, let me finish as well. I'm saying it's a burglary. I say it's a burglary. By law, what they did is a burglary. It doesn't have, it does not need to have any sign of a uh, broken entry, right? Because the board members have, uh, the management has a copy of the keys on file, which are not at all uh, Officer Caleb as well. Now I am asking you, when someone, when a, when a citizen, right, of the United States of America calls the police and tells the police that someone broke into my home, right? They opened the safe, they broke, they broke the safe, opened the safe, took evidence that I had in my safe, and dropped the flash drive on the floor, and they left. The Beacon Management, Beacon Management Services and the board members have access to the keys to my unit. Now you're saying that the officer who's respond to that crime, to that call, is not going to document it as a crime? Just because she did not see, she did not even try to investigate whether there were any signs of forced entry or not. She did not even look at the locks. Are you saying that it would not be called a crime? All right, ma'am, like I told you before. Yes. In order for the officer, I will not be able to change it for you. Definitely, okay. Definitely, the officer so will have to do it. What does it say and now? Listen, what does it say I now? I, I, may, I, I let you talk. Yes. I let you speak and I let you, I listen to you. Okay, you did. Now, please, okay, good. let me. All right. I will tell you straight up and then you will go ahead and do what you have to do. Yes. I'm telling you that for it to be changed to a burglary, you need to talk to a burglary investigator. All right. All right. The burglary investigator will determine if it's a burglary or not, and if it needs to be changed, and if okay. it needs to be investigated. All right. What they happened to the prince? You know, they will let you know. They will let you know yes. if anything further needs to be done. They will call you. They will ask you about all the information that you're asking me, which I cannot answer. All right. Right. And then they will further investigate if they need to. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So now, what I need. Right, it's to know what happened to the evidence that she collected on the, the scene of the crime. Uh, most likely, it's in property as evidence. All right, so now I had confirmation that they were changing the report. I have not seen the changes, I've only seen the initial report that was provided to okay, me. Okay, I'm gonna say it one more time, and yes. that's it. Okay, all right, you need she will give you contact information for the burglary. Evidence. Okay, they will determine if it is a burglary. Okay. And if it is a burglary, they will change the status as far as from a non-crime to a burglary. Okay. After they get all the information. Okay. All right. I will take that road and right. whatever happens, happens. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Thank you, Counsel. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Well, can I get the number to the burglary? It's right here.